Hey subscribers, I'm giving away random tech goodies every 15 days until the end of December 2020. Just like, share and subscribe. Up for grabs is the foldable T5 wireless headset. The T5 supports the latest generation Bluetooth and micro SD card playback. Listen up to 8 hours on a single charge. Tell your friends to head over to I Will Build It to sign up, subscribe and they can stand a chance to win all these awesome tech goodies until the end of December 2020. So here we have another I will fix it. This Xbox One X is stuck in a loop. The customer asked me to take a look and see if I can figure out what's wrong with it. Let's power it on. Okay, trying to prepare the system. Oh dear, that's not good. Something went wrong. Now if I hit restart this Xbox, this keeps looping. Uh, and the system error I'm getting, the E106, has got to do with a hard drive. First thing I'm going to try is do a hard reset. I do this by holding the eject button, the sync button and the power button all together at the same time until the Xbox powers on. You'll then be presented with this troubleshoot screen. Just select Reset this Xbox. Select Keep Games and Apps unless you're willing to lose everything. And let's see what happens. The Xbox will now try and reinstall the software. As you can see it's hanging on 50% and crashes. Okay, so we're going to have to take this thing apart and replace the hard drive. Let's power it off. To see how to disassemble a Xbox One X, please click on the link above and follow iFixit's tutorial on Xbox One X teardowns. As you can see, I've already disassembled this Xbox One X. All the screws are removed. All the connectors are loose. This is just for you to see how it looks as you take it apart. Let's flip it over. Take off the cover. And look under the hood. And there you are, ladies and gentlemen, the Xbox One X in all its glory, the Blu-ray drive. Let's flip that over. And there we have it, the naughty, naughty hard drive. Let's take that out. Let's carefully disconnect the power and the SATA connectors. As you can see, I've already removed this hard drive. Usually it's screwed down to that little caddy below it. The Xbox One X uses a proprietary SATA power connector. Let's disconnect that. Here's my new 1TB Seagate Barracuda hard drive. Nothing special about it. Mechanical hard drive. You can choose an SSD if you'd like. Ideally a 2TB hard drive would be better but my suppliers were out of stock. Considering the size of the games these days. Now let's reassemble everything. Back into the caddy. Let's reconnect the SATA and power connectors. Let's flip over the Blu-ray drive. Just make sure everything is still connected and in place.
Now it's time to prepare the Xbox One X with its new hard drive. I'm using a 16 gig USB thumb drive. I've included the link for the necessary software. Just make sure that you download the correct software by reading the description on the download page. Let's power on the Xbox One X. The Xbox One X automatically finds the update on the USB thumb drive and starts the updating process. I'm going to fast forward a bit because this process does take quite a while. Let's go get a nice cup of coffee while this thing updates. The Xbox One X will power cycle at least twice to complete the update. This is just part of the process. There we go, the hard drive has been prepared. Let's go into settings and take a look. Storage, there we are. Now you can sign back into Xbox Live, download your apps, your saves and your games. Now you just need to reassemble your Xbox One X, sit back, relax and enjoy your favorite game. Thanks for watching this edition of I Will Build It, or how should I say, I Will Fix It. Until next time.